y'all i should have been started to do this considering that ever since i started saying that phrase operation protect the white boy last year that who knew it would steamroll into me doing a series of videos talking about them without actually properly giving them a title as far as like you know when i do my sundown series my peak my triple p's my the my most recently black massacre series i said you know what i'm going to create a playlist dedicated to operation protect the white boy and you know what i might as well do one for operation protect the white woman because there's some instances where they get caught up in some stuff too and they manage to walk away damn near unscathed so today on this video right here we are officially kicking off spontaneously the operation protect the white boy series i'm going to create a whole playlist behind it then this is going to be the first video right here and man what a way to kick it off because this guy i'm about to talk about right here this guy should have definitely caught a few he should have definitely got popped but as you can see that was not the case so today in the first entry of the operation protect the white boy series the official series we have Richard Dale Crum, and this man is accused in connection with a series of shootings in different locations in a place called Arkabulata. Someone can correct me if I'm wrong, but it's in Mississippi. This uh, just a couple of days ago, as a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, it was yesterday. I'm recording this on the 18th and this happened on the 17th. So I'm going to go ahead and read it. And ironically, when I typed his name into Google, I came across my favorite site to go to when it breaks this stuff down. And that's heavy.com. Richard Dale Crum, age 52 of Arkbolta, 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 I'm guessing that's how you pronounce it. Someone from Mississippi, correct me if I'm wrong. And I know I probably am was arrested this afternoon and charged with first-degree murder in connection with this case. Additional charges for each of the other victims will be filed in the coming days. Crum is being held without bond in the Tate County Jail, the Tate County Sheriff announced in a press conference state statement posted to the department's Facebook page. Arkabutla, I'm telling you, I'm going to keep messing that name up. I'm going to just say that A, that Ark place. <laughs> is a small town of about 285 people. Oh, that is a small town. That's a tiny town located in the rural Mississippi near Memphis, Tennessee. So now we're going to get into the five facts. The first one is Richard Crum shot six people in three different locations in Ark. An Arca, we'll say like that, an Arca, the sheriff says. And I'm going to actually read a tweet from this woman named Joyce Peterson and apparently she is a news person out of Memphis she said update from Arca Mississippi town of 285 people where six people were shot and killed today per state per Tate County Sheriff Express Mart is back open one person killed outside notice witnesses truck window was shot scene where four more were killed is being processed suspect is in custody in custody and, and this is his mugshot right here the sheriff's statement says that on february 17 2023 there was a series of shootings at three different locations in Ark arca resulting in the deaths of six people the statement adds we are in the very stages the early stages of the investigation so we can only release a limited amount of information what we do want the community to know is that the suspect is in custody a woman wrote on a common thread about the shootings that Crum is her uncle's stepson. We still aren't sure why he went on a killing spree. Praying for the other families involved, she wrote of the accusations. The second fact reads, Richard Dale Crum is, accusing of is accused of shooting a man in a store before shooting people in two different homes. Sheriff Brad Lance told WREG that authorities believe Crum went into a store and shot a man, then went to a house nearby on Ben Row and shot a woman. Lance told the television station that Crum also went to a home on Arca Dam Road and shot and killed two people there. He was arrested after a chase ended in the driveway of a home where two more people were found deceased, one in a vehicle and the other in the driveway, according to what the sheriff told WREG. A man who says he knows a person in Arc Arca referred to Crum on Facebook by the nickname Bubba and shared a surveillance photo image. 
where he's going, he might end up sharing a cell with someone named Bubba. The tape record reported that it obtained a surveillance photo of the suspect, possibly from the Arkadam store, and was working to verify it. The third fact reads, a witness says a man was shot in a truck at a convenience store and he saw a dude walking back here with a shotgun. A man who witnessed a shooting at a convenience store on Arca Road, Ethan Cash, told WREG, I heard the gunshot from inside my house. I had just woken up and I looked back here. I see a dude walking back here with a shotgun. I go up to a truck where a guy shot at and I check his pulse and I make sure he's okay. He's already gone to hit this point. Cash said to the television station, I had a moment where I could have saved someone's life and I missed it. And I missed it. According to Vine Link, Crum was booked into the Tate County Jail in Sanatobia, Mississippi at 3.28 p.m. on February 17, 2023. The fourth point reads, a woman described Arca as a place where everyone knows everyone. I guess that would be easy to do when it's only a town or a city of 285 people. That's not that hard. Arca resident April Wade described the community to ABC 24 as a place where everyone knows everyone else. But if you don't, you know somebody who knows somebody. I think it's crazy, Wade said to the station. You do not expect something like that to happen so close to home. And this could actually fall into Rob's over at Black Light Revelation Surviving the Suburbs uh, series. Just based on this statement that this woman made, because a lot of people, especially a lot of white people back then and apparently now love to say that this kind of stuff doesn't happen here. Lies. And the thing is, back then, when they I used to hear that, especially on the news, social media wasn't really popping like that. As a matter of fact, that was back at the time when there wasn't any smartphones. So that should tell you all that you need to know right there. At that time, you only had Facebook and MySpace and in order to use them. You had to be on a desktop or a laptop. And deal with that goddamn dial-up internet. But now that we have everything at our fingertips, everything is slowly but surely getting exposed to the world a whole lot faster. And the fifth and final point on Heavy is the motive is not yet clear. And I'm going to actually read a tweet from this person named Tate Reeves. He says, I've been briefed on the series of shootings in Tate County. The individual responsible has been taken into custody alive. At this time, we believe he acted alone. His motive is not yet known. I will ensure that the full resources of the state are available to law enforcement as we continue to investigate the situation. The Mississippi Bureau of Investigation, or MBI, has been asked to assist in this investigation. Please pray for the victims of this tragic violence and their families at home. According to Tate, the individual response... Oh, I already read that part. And the last thing it says is Tate promised that the full resources of the state are available to law enforcement. So as you can see, this guy went on a shooting spree and he was taken in alive and look at him completely and utterly unscathed. Well, it looks like this story actually did make it to lamestream media because when I typed his name in, it was a whole bunch of articles written up about him. But the thing about it is it didn't get that much attention as say, what happened with the Michigan State University shooter. As in, they couldn't wait to post this all over the place, especially the lamestream media, the ones who love to say, well, look, it's a black guy who did the shooting this time, so you can't say it was a race thing. They love to do that. But you know, they got real quiet when this happened. My thing is, they probably was like, damn, we was just on a roll with this guy, even though it was just this one incident. Now this guy had to pop back up and do what he did. We'll see how much the media likes to or will choose to keep this narrative going before the next one pops off. And trust and believe, unfortunately, there will most likely be a next one. You know, it never ends with just one or even just some. There's going to be some more down the line. We still in the first quarter of 2023. We still got three more to go.